So we have Editor Ogata. That was easy. <laughs> the camera began to glow with power. The camera seal power ups. Yep. Right. This is white tape two. Let you listen to the more quality voice acting. September 9th, 9.40 p.m. It seemed dangerous to walk through the mountain at night, so we decided to spend the night here and continue our work. I've been through several rooms already. Unlike the exterior, the interior is still in quite good shape. A little earlier, I thought I saw a white, shadowy figure of a woman in the hallway near the entrance. I'll keep track of such sightings and publish them in a later account. Sure you will. So, moving on. Wait, what are you looking at? What are you, what are you looking at? Fine. I can feel something coming from the mirror stand. Something shows in the photo. It looks like a lion mask near the sunken fireplace. So some photos will show you where to go to continue the story. If you're wondering, I am still really, really tense because random ghost encounters can just happen. So, holy Christ. It is windy as hell outside, and that scared the piss out of me. There's a plant, like a, a plant. Well, yeah, there's a plant outside my freaking window, so. Oh my god, that sound makes me so nervous. Oh no! Go out the door! Go, 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 I forgot about this. <laughs> How dare you! That was so off. Not a good environment to play this in. Get out the door. There's gonna be. No, I think I'm guaranteed I'm gonna get freaked out at some points. There's something reflecting inside the ornament. Red hand mirror. Yay. I got the red hand mirror. That was easy. Now we just get to go back. Oh, Boom says me. Oh no. Is there anything in there? I forgot if there's anything in that closet. Nope! I'm not going there. Alright, just open the door. I think this is that. Is this the satanic part? I'm just leaning back. Yes, it is. I pissed myself there. Oh, I pissed myself there so bad. Don't like that sound. I don't like it. Open the door. Oh, freaking wind, stop it. We use the red hand mirror here.
It's that person I just saw. <gasps> the ropes. I can see the faint shadows of ropes in, on the man's neck, arms, and legs. I got a small key from the drawer. Brass key. Right. <laughs> Jesus! You ass! Oh, F word. No, no, don't be swerving side to side here, I mean. Jesus! You can't run at me like that, don't do that. Yeah, down. taken care of. Good God. Frick you, man. Let's keep on the fine. We won't check if there's anything in it. Oh no. Fine. Let me. Ooh, wrong way. to our next save point too, which I'm going to save my game. Nope, I'm for a cutscene. You know, in all honesty, that would have been a lot scarier if they left it out of a cutscene. I am not lying. If I just randomly came out of that doorway and the camera angle shifted the feet running up the stairs, that would have scared me more than putting it in a cutscene. Use the brass key here. And it opens the door. And here we get stuff. Research scrap. Secret rituals of the Himuro family. Many rituals and customs have been passed down through generations of the Himuro family. Most of them are lost. The only things we have left now are some documents that record these rituals as a legend. Hardly any of the oral history remains. This is because all Himuro family members are dead, and those who were close to the family have kept quiet about the ritual. One ritual in particular performed on December 13th is shrouded in mystery. People who have lived near the mansion stayed inside on that particular day, and even now it's considered bad luck to leave the windows open on that date. I can only assume that this is due to the cruel nature of the ritual, but the truth remains unknown. something in here. No. No. Yep, and you look there and there's a stone mirror. This keeps you from dying once. You can only hold one at a time, which kind of sucks, but then again, it is all fair. There's a little medicine. I believe this door. This is a anti-room, I think. Anti-room, something like that. Right. Here's the save point. I'm going to save. And here you can look at your album if you want to. In the film thing, if you're running low on type 14 film, it'll automatically give you up to 30 exposures here. So if you're running low, just come to a save point and take some film when it's able to highlight it. So you can virtually never ever run out of type 14 film. Nope, go past it. Creepy freaking dolls. An audio tape, red tape one. So let's listen to that, shall we? The red tapes are. I forgot her name. Eh. 
September 10th, 1020 AM. We discovered some disturbing photos in a chest of drawers. Could these be the folklore children mentioned in Koji's notes? The photo is quite old and shows some kids playing tag. In the corner of the photo, there's a faint image of a young girl in a white kimono. Her finger is pointed this way, and her eyes look as if she's making some silent accusation. Oh. So, I think her name's Tomoe? Anyway, there's some red notebook scrap. August 20th, it seems a folklorist named Ryozo Munakata was studying about the various rituals passed down in Himurdo Mansion. He supposedly left a book of research, but I can't find it anywhere. I wonder if there's a copy in a library somewhere. <sighs> August 30th, I still can't find the book. I'll have Koji Ogata from an, the editing department do a search for it. I doubt he'll be able to find it, though. <sighs> I think he's searching to get some <sighs> yep, Type 14 film. I think that's it. Is this locked? Yeah, it's nailed shut. Crap. Could be. Oh, <coughs> uh, silence is the best kind of music, don't you think? No. Stop my breath. Did y'all just see that? I never noticed that before. That's spooky. Turn the camera, thank you. Nice. Good stuff. Oh, j j j August 27th. The more I find out about Humano Mansion, the creepier it gets. I'm sure it's the perfect subject matter for Mr. Takamine's next book, but to be perfectly honest, I don't like this assignment one bit. It gives me a bad feeling. There's no way I want to go to that mansion, but it's my job, right? I guess I'll have to go, and I wouldn't want to waste the chance to work with Mr. Takamine just because of a little uneasiness either. It doesn't help that I have the sixth sense for the supernatural either. There's such a thing as knowing too much sometimes. <sighs> Herbal medicine. Good stuff. Down the stairs we go. God, I hate this ghost. Scary as hell. Oh, I don't like this guy. 